Hello, June Crest America School. I hope you're all having a fabulous day today. Today is Thankful Thursday, and we have so much to be thankful for. It does seem like things are getting better in the world, and we're going to keep our fingers crossed that we all will stay healthy and safe. First and foremost, we'd like to hear straight from one of our famous leaders. This is Mr. Adam from our eighth grade. Adam is the student council president of our eighth grade. So let's just go directly to him and hear his words. Of Hello, June Crescent American Wisdom. School. Today we have with us Adam Abagati, who is the president of the middle school student council. We're always looking forward to his advice and his good wisdom that he shares with us. So Adam, I guess the first thing, uh, first and foremost, your grades are incredible. Uh, you're, you're what I call my A, all A man. You always make those A's. So I love it. I love it. Well, first up, what is it you plan on doing as a career, Adam? Um, I want to be an app developer or something around computer science. Nice, 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 nice. Now, listen, if you're going to do computer science, don't hack into my bank account. It's already low enough. This corona is killing my, my retirement account. So, uh, yeah. But, um, so, and have you decided yet on a university you're thinking about? Are you doing research on that? I know you're, you're still young. You're in eighth grade, but still yeah. about these things. I want to definitely go to an IV, and I'm leaning towards Stanford a lot. Whoa. Yeah. Going in, into the IT world headquarters over there, Stanford. All yeah. right. I love yeah. it. I love it. Well, what's some advice that you would give other students uh, on how, how to do well with their distance learning, Adam? Uh, I would say definitely to use a schedule because it makes your life a lot easier so that you don't have to remember everything. You can just have it there and for you ready instead of thinking about what you're doing next and being confused. Right. Now, with you being uh, wanting to go into a career with technology, obviously, not only do you have your, your time on, on online for your classes, but I'm assuming you get a lot of enjoyment about being on, online also. What is it yeah. that you do to make sure, though, that you're not spending 24-7 in front of a computer screen? Um, I like to take a break from time to time and I set reminders like on my laptop and then so I can just like distance myself from the distance learning and yeah. Yeah, I think that setting a timer is very, very wise, very, very wise. What about to parents? What advice would you give parents uh, to, to help them, you know, help their children do well with distance learning? Uh, I tell parents just to check up with uh, their children once every so often just so that they can know that their children are doing good and they don't need any help and things like that. All right, so those check-ins are vital. I like yep. it. Now, with you being president of the student council, I know y'all also have a pretty big event coming up here soon. Tell us about the trivia night. So we're going to be holding a trivia night for every advisory, and we're going to have your, uh, the advisory representatives be in charge of that. And they should be making a uh, kahoot from uh, the things that you've learned throughout the week. And we hope to continue it every week. So, yeah. It's um, on Thursdays at 4 p.m. Thursday at 4 o'clock. I can't wait. Trivia night. Uh, it's going to be so exciting. And you get to work your brain out a little bit as well as socialize. I love that. Exactly. Uh, how, how do you, Adam, keep, keep track of your family and friends? Uh, how, are you staying in communication with people? Yeah. Um, I use, like, WhatsApp and iMessage a lot just to keep track of them. And sometimes I use Zoom to, like, just chat with my friends face-to-face. -face. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Well, thank you for coming by virtually to the school and visiting with us and giving us the great advice, Adam. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Will. All righty. What a joy it was to hear from Adam and to learn about what's going on with him and just to find out some great things that's happening and good advice for how to do well in school. Second, what we'd like to announce today is it is time to show off your animals. Yes, even our animals need to be having some joy and, and happiness in their lives. And so if you would like to participate in our after school animal club, please email me at the following emails that you see right here that I'm circling. And then we will tell you about how to join and what to do. Our first meeting will actually be Tuesday. I wrote Wednesday right here, but we're going to change this right now. Our first meeting will be Tuesday. And on Tuesday, you will bring yourself and your animal to our Zoom meeting. And you're going to explain about your animal, what you're doing with your animal, how your animal is feeling, how you feel like or you think your animal is feeling. And just tell us all about it. So we don't care if it's a dog, if it's a cat, 
if it is a mongoose, it, if it is a bird, I've had, I already had one person, CJ, told me he's bringing this turtle. It doesn't matter to me what animal it is. We want to know about you and your animal and how they're helping you during the coronavirus virtual school sessions that's going on. So let's bring that out and find out what, learn about your animals and, and what's going on. So again, to participate in our after school animal club, send me an email right here. I'll get you signed up so you can participate in our first meeting. It will be Tuesday after school at 3.30 p.m. Okay, so make sure that you're there for that. Now parents, this is such a cool thing. So if you will click on this right here, once you click on that, it will take you to the coolest website I've seen in a long time. And right here is what it is. This is uh, the Ramses tomb in Egypt. And once you click on the picture, once it, it pulls up, look what it does. You can take a virtual school, uh, vir virtual tour of this tomb. Notice these great colors. You can see the folks, you can see the colors. This tomb is over, I think it's, uh, I think it was, uh, was 4,000 years old. Can you imagine paint from 4,000 years ago? Well, here it is. And this will take you all the way. No, I'm not going to click to the end of the tomb, but I'm going because I want you to enjoy it. But look at this. It's just fabulous. And uh, it'll be a good experience for you uh, to learn all about what's in this tomb. So make sure that you take advantage of that. Go see it. It will be fun, fun, fun. Also, um, after you finish that, did want to remind everybody that Earth Day is coming up. Yes, Earth Day will be April the 22nd. If you have not uh, signed up for activities, Earth Day Live 2020, there's all kinds of stuff here on this. So parents, again, just click on that link in this email. It will take, take you to this website. There are some live events that will happen on April the 22nd. There are field digital events that you do. You can register for an event. You can explore other activities. You can talk about the history of the moment. Uh, the movement is in here. And then it will just talk about some different things that you can do to participate and make sure that Mother Earth is doing well and everything is going super here. Also, speaking of Earth Day, we have our next field study trip going on. Boeing and Discovery Education are celebrating the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, and this is a little about them. So again, parents, if you will just click on this website right here, once you click on it, it will take you to here for our virtual field study trip. And once we'll watch about 30 seconds of this video. Planet Earth so you needs see. you, every one of you, working together today for a better future tomorrow. Clearer skies, cleaner water, healthier lands with a smaller human footprint. Today, you're going to learn some of the ways big and small you can help the planet. You're also going to hear about some of the ways Boeing is doing its part too. Cutting edge technologies, cleaner manufacturing processes, innovative new approaches, and a commitment to reduce, reuse, and recycle its waste. Because when it comes to helping the environment, the future is now, and it includes you. All right, that is an exciting trip. Our virtual field study trip coming up. We'll learn about how Boeing is celebrating Earth Day as well as the rest of us. Now, it's a very sad day because today is Thursday. You know what that means? We have to go two days without school. Oh, that's awful. Boo, 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 boo. Maybe soon we can go to school seven days a week. Wouldn't that be exciting? Oh, I would love that. But anyhow, you have two choices to make, make now, my, my friends, at Dunecrest American School. You can make it a great day, or you can make it a fantastic day. The choice is yours. At Dunecrest American School, we're about raising student achievement every day, every way.